Hi, my name is Jason and I'm an application engineer here at 3M. In today's video, we're gonna to talk to you about fish eyes and how to fix them. Before we get started, I just wanna mention a couple things. First is we wanna make sure we're always wearing the proper PPE. In this video, I'll be wearing safety glasses, nitro gloves, and a papper. I also wanna mention that this video is intended for professional use, so for you technicians actually out there in the shop. If you have any questions on warranty or additional safety information, be sure to check the links in the description below. Fish eyes can be caused by a lot of different things. What we have today is a panel with base coat on it, and we're gonna get a little bit of chemical contamination on there, so when we spray our first coat of clear, Hopefully we get some fish eyes throughout the panel that we can show you how to fix while we're actually in the booth. Once we're in the booth, I'm gonna show you a technique of using dry spray and air to build a tacky surface within the fish eyes so when we do our final flow coat of clear, we're able to bridge over those fish eyes and get a nice clean finish. So here we have our panel. We've just sprayed one coat of clear and we do have some fish eyes. So we have fish eyes up in this area, and then we also have some fish eyes down here. So there is a way to try to fix these while we're spraying in the booth to see if this is a job we can save. Where a lot of painters make mistakes is they'll try to flood the panel to try to fill in those fish eyes, but basically those fish eyes, whatever contaminant is in there is gonna keep pushing the paint away and those holes will keep coming through. So we actually have to do the opposite of what we would think. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna dry spray. So I'm gonna raise my air pressure on my spray gun a little bit. I'm gonna lessen my fluid and barely feather the trigger to blow really dry, clear coat at the panel. And what that's gonna do is put little dots in the center of those fish eyes that can't get pushed away because it's dry sprayed. Think of it like a tack coat when you're spraying your first coat of clear on a bumper or something like that, where you spray really light to build adhesion. We're doing the same thing and that dry spray is gonna leave little drops in the center of all of these fish eyes. And then as soon as I finish my dry spray, I'll hit it with a little bit of air to make sure that dry spray is nice and tacked up. And then I can hit it with a flood coat to bridge those little gaps between that dry spray we put on and that'll help our paint hold and won't let it fish eye away from the panel. So I'm gonna get my dry spray on here, hit it with some air and then we'll hit it with a little bit of a flood coat. So as you just saw, I coated the entire panel in dry spray. Now if this was a big hood or something like that, we wouldn't have to do the entire panel. We'd just have to do the area that's fish eyed. But you can see how dried I sprayed it where even though this is clear coat in the gun, it actually looks kind of matte finished. Um, that's because of those little tiny dry spray droplets that are on there. So I have a nice even coat across the entire panel. I let those tack up a little bit. So now we have, think of them like little grippers in each one of those fish eyes. So now when I go through and spray a medium wet coat over the top, it should flow out and those little grippers will keep that fresh clear that I'm spraying from fish eyeing again in those same spots. So hopefully this remedies the problem. I'm gonna get my hood back on and spray a nice medium wet coat of clear. So our little solution worked. So again, remember you wanna do a nice dry spray across the whole panel so it almost has a matte looking finish. Again, that'll be those little tiny drops that'll fill in little spots of those fish eyes and make little bumps for our next coat of clear to really grab onto and hold so the fish eyes can't put them away and make that hole develop all the way back down to the base coat. So after I did my dry spray, I did a nice medium wet coat of clear that's all now flowed out really nicely and we no longer have a fish eye issue. 
Be careful when you spray that last coat. Some people spray way too heavy because now they're trying to cover that dry spray. Spray it like a normal medium wet coat and just let the clear flow out on its own. If it looks a little rough, you can let it flash off for 10 or 15 minutes and always come back and put one more coat of clear to sort of finish that bridging. But if you try to get on it too quick or spray too heavy, you could have a run and now you have a run issue that you need to fix. Thank you for watching our video. If you found this content useful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to check us out at 3M Collision Repair Academy. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.